Hi, this is Neil Caden from the Aperio Foundation, and this is the Sakai Morpheus uh, meeting um, on Wednesday, September 9th at 11 a.m. We're recording this. So um, this is just an informal meeting talking about the Morpheus project, which is the uh, new skin and mobile responsive design interface for Sakai. It's in Sakai 11. And just like I said, just an informal discussion. So um, let's see. Um, I don't know, does anyone want to kick it off? I can. I kind of remember some of the things we talked about last week. I think the main thing that we discussed was um, a some sort of, uh, uh, you know, improving the techn technical documentation and then planning to have a uh, presentation to the community, as especially as we kick off uh, the Sakai skin, skin contest. I see we've lost a couple people. I'm really that boring. I mean, I lost three people <laughs> oh okay so yeah uh, just to continue on that so we actually started the, the collaborative document uh, which I just posted in the chat um, so that cool. uh, we just had a talk, main main points which we want to cover in that listed here but uh, we have to come up with the actual uh, content for all those uh, mentioned items um, and we think this should cover at least the basics and uh, in depth of Morpheus. Um, I think once everything is uh, written here, we'll basically um, import that to a GitHub uh, document uh, or GitHub readme file format um, so that it's close to the actual uh, code. So would you like us to take a look at, at some of that documentation you've created and kind of just I, I think it, it's not yet uh, started to be frank. It's just there. Um, we haven't done anything. Uh, so, so far, it's just uh, an outline, basically. So, we have a couple of bulleted points where we, what we want to cover. Uh, so, the bulleted points listed there in this document are basically uh, um, sections, I would say. Um, okay. Documentation will be in the future. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for starting the outline. It's great. Do you think you need about another week or two weeks to flesh it out? And is there anything we well, can do to help? Well, I'm thinking a week at least to have some more uh, actual some, something there. Um, um, but probably two weeks to actually finalize everything uh, to get feedback and everything. Yes. Okay, so that's going to take two weeks. About that takes us to September twenty third, and um, Ian, let me see, um, Ian Dolph, I think that uh, he is looking. He has a webinar series, the Perio webinar series, and uh, maybe it would make sense to try and fit into that. Uh, so. Uh, September 30th is available, so I don't know if we want to do it for September 30th, which is, uh, so if we do two weeks from today, the 23rd, that gives us like a week to review it mm -hmm. and then do a presentation to the community. I think that it would be on Wednesday around, it would be noon Eastern, so an hour later than now, and uh, double check also with Dr. Chuck because it sounded like he would be happy to participate in that as well. Okay. Cool. So what would be the right uh, way to frame this uh, presentation? Um, is it a Morpheus technical overview or does that make it push people away? Um, um, I would say it's uh, more of a user side of how users can start using the Morpheus. Uh, uh, a little more technical, not too technical, but just uh, just to get a hands-on view of what Morpheus uh, is for the institutions or what they need to know to make use of it, basically. Okay, so here's uh, what that's asking for in the sign-up sheet. Um, it's asking for um, software projects. The Kai project, obviously, is the right thing. Then a working title. So the title, based on what you were just uh, saying, um, and I also want to kind of emphasize the skin contest aspect of it because people who are participating in the skin contest will probably want to, you know, attend this. Yeah. 
So I'm thinking the working title could be something like how to start using Morpheus and uh, and something with a skin contest in there. How to start using Morpheus and or maybe we should, yeah. Hmm. And learn more about the skin contest or something like that. Learn more, that doesn't sound too catchy. Yeah. Here, I'll just paste my initial kind of lame idea in the chat and maybe some other people come up with a and we don't have to figure out the title right now but just if you have if you're inspired to uh how to come up with something really good. yeah i think the wilma sentence would be uh, the how to start using morpheus and how to create a custom skin how to create a custom skin okay i want to also i guess i can do that we can do that through communications <laughs> Um, that it is that people who are interested in the contest will definitely want to attend. Oh, you barely hear us. That's sad. Eduardo right, is right. He can barely yeah. hear us. So, okay, well, that sounds like a good, a good start. Uh, how to start using Morpheus and how to create a custom skin. And then we'll just try and make sure people uh, know it's connected with the skin contest. Mm -hmm. um, So are there any other new things to talk about? Um, on my side, I don't have any. Um, right now, I have documentation at least I'm working on. Um, but I don't know if Edward has anything, but it looks like he has a problem. So, um, yeah. And I, I saw that uh, Juan and Edward, I think, uh, I'm not sure, but they are working on the bug fixes. Um, so. Oh, that's right. That's what we usually, uh, we agreed we take like 15 minutes uh, to do bug fixes. Mm -hmm. So let's let's do that. Um, does anyone have a filter handy? Do you have a filter handy or do I need to make one up or find one? I forget if we saved one. Let me take a look in Jira. If there's a Morpheus, oh, here we go. I have two filters here. One is Morpheus issues open, open Morpheus issues, and the other one are Morpheus unresolved issues, which should be very similar. In fact, it looks like they have the same list of issues at the moment. The queries might be slightly different. Yeah, the queries are slightly different, but the moment is put. Uh, make sure this is public to everyone. It is, so let me share this filter. talked about so we'll just uh, go through let me try sharing my screen <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oops Let's see screen share there we go Okay, so let me move uh, this over here, and I'll move this over here. Whoops, wrong one. Okay, excuse me, just a second. I got my windows mixed up. Um, there we go. And I think the Firefox window over here. That out of the way. All right. So, um, so I could use your help because I don't remember if we've discussed. Does everyone see the screen? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool. So, uh, so uh, yeah. If there are ones that we have already spoken about, um, let me know so we don't rehash old issues, and that way we can move a little quicker. I'll just start from the top. As you can see, it's ordered from blocker level issues and then down um, to lower priority. So I think we talked about the errant count below footer on settings, right? Yep. Yeah, so we don't need to talk about that one at the moment. 
that, that should come out of awaiting review. Oh, that's a good question. I remember now some of them we needed to test, and I don't think I tested this one. So who was was I supposed to test this one? That's the my question to re, to to see if the issue is still the same. Because I notice I have yeah, a labeled QA funk test. So so, so I back and test. Okay. See, next one is uh, tutorial needs updating for Morpheus. That one is open. So that one, is that being worked on or does that need discussion? Um, yeah, I think we may need a little discussion on that, uh, to, what to use. Um, if you're still using the jQuery model one or not. Um, yeah, I, I, we can come to that later. So, so uh, what's we can just fix them once we're now, and then um, we can cover to later. I don't know. Oh, so you want to come back to this later? Yeah. Okay. Go down the list then. Okay. Next one's SAK two nine seven seven one skip nav access no longer. Visually displayed. Um, this one I'm pretty familiar with. Uh, we need to discuss this one. This one sounds like it could be a kind of a big deal. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think Eduardo said he looked into that last week. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think Eduardo said uh, he he'll look into that and see if that's still an issue. Right. Okay. Should we this one to Eduardo then? Right now it's assigned to Matt and Claire. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, let's assign this. Cool. Next one. Yeah, I do remember discussing that. And the next one, gradebook date poker. I remember discussing this one too, right? Gradebook date yep. poker is yep. broken. Um, and so Steve Swinsberg did respond that it's gradebook one only. So I'm not sure the action we decided on this. Um, uh, I think a blocker level bug in Sakai 11 for gradebooks since they're planning on. So the news I'm getting from Steve and, and um, Jeff is that they do think that they will be merging in gradebook NG really soon and they want to not even stealth the original gradebook. They want to keep it up and running. And I think that's because there's additional work to be done on gradebook NG even after they merge it and they want to be able to compare bugs. So if they, you know, if we find some issues in Gradebook and J, we kind of want to go back and easily look at the behavior in the Gradebook. So based on that, I'm going to say this should be a blocker level bug and maybe assign it to Steve. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right. Um, oh, I should make that open. Should make that an open issue also. So awaiting review means one thing. Let's see. But I'm going to trust that he uh, knows what he's talking about there. All right. Let's make sure that's an open issue. Waiting review basically just means that we're checking that it's a valid issue. Once we know it's a valid issue, it goes to open status. So, um, next one is SAK29170. Error view needs uh, updating from Morpheus. I remember, I think we discussed this one too. Uh, mm -hmm. um, should be resolved. Oh, right. Right, so we think this yeah. one's resolved. We just close this issue if we don't hear anything back in a little bit. All right, go to the next one. Okay, we're already out of the issues, which is cool. The accessibility issue, I believe, is connected to, yeah, um, that earlier SAK one. So I'm surprised those aren't linked. Um, the accessibility, I loses focus when navigating between students using the keyboard. Last comment is from Matthew Jones. This might be useful here to see if the element selected is actually focusable. It looks like there's some comments on this. I don't know if we need any discussion here, except to me, it seems like it should be linked to, um, let me find the other issues again. One we just uh, had discussion on briefly. Issues. Um, it looks to me nice. like this one, yeah. It, it's two nine seven seven one. I think that's what I was Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. So, is, shouldn't this one be like connected to that? Um, I mean, both are related to the accessibility. That's for sure. Um, 
So probably yes, uh, I'd say. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that and make a comment. And is there any more we need to discuss, or who's kind of picking? Uh, right now, it's assigned to the San Diego team, which really doesn't exist. So I should change that either to the Sakai core team or if someone has an action. So let me go ahead and link. Link to the SAK 29971. So it does look like this is active discussion, but I'm just. Any, this should be to anybody. Um, I'm not sure what the next step is. Maybe this is one accessibility group. I'm not sure. So should we just skip this one for now, or? Yeah, um, I think I skipped this one. OK. Well, definitely want to come back to that. Um, the next one is Samago 2543, error not showing on blank assessment name. This is listed as awaiting review. When did I open this? So that was opened a while ago. I forget if we discussed this, but it's still listing as a awaiting review and there hasn't been any new comments. You take a second. And I'm assessment spelled wrong here. Right. Um, to reproduce, leave the assessment title blank, click create. Okay. I can try reproducing that real quickly. Let's see. Go into Sakai Nightly. Oh, there's already some sites in here. Cool. So I'll just go to one of the existing sites. I'll add in um, San Miguel. Now I'm going to go to test and quizzes. I'm going to leave the assessment title blank and click on create. So yes, that's still an issue. So when you do that, it doesn't create one, which is right, but it doesn't give you any sort of uh, a message. So this is a Morpheus issue or not, but this is still an issue. Uh, yeah, I think we can uh, do that. Um, I will look into that. Okay, cool. Should I go ahead and just assign the ticket to you then for now? Oh, I, I just did it to me. Cool. Okay, awesome. Thank you. No problem. All right. We're actually already into the major issues, so we're kind of flying by. We'll take another, you know, 10 minutes or so. So and go through. You can always, you know, end early because I'm sure you're all busy. But nice to get through a lot of a lot of issues. Um, the next one, Samago 2606. Um, save buttons are too close together. So I have a, a couple images. Here. Although I guess I don't have them labeled as PNG, but there's uh, there's an example. So I don't know if that's still true. But do you agree those are kind of like bleeding into each other a bit? I'm just reviewing it. It's seeing if that's still the case. What's that? I'm sorry. I'm just reviewing if it's still the case. I okay. Think, um, Yes. Um, wait a minute. Sorry. Yeah. And I think it'll also on the save as yeah. well as the publish. So in both places. Yeah. It, yeah. Um, I will assign that to 
Cool. Make sure that one's open as well. I'll go ahead and click open. Right. So let's see. Tab uh, SAK two nine seven three six tabs limited dates and no more site buttons visible. This is unassigned awaiting review. Step three produce. Enter as instructor with more than four sites available. You see only four tabs and the more sites button is missing. Okay, I can actually try that. Um, and new site. So there's already four sites available in. Um, I'm not sure if it's still the issue here, um, but Can you hear me? Yeah, uh, I don't know if I can replace it, uh, recreate this one, but Sean says, can I should have something to do with the so settings in the right list. I saw it on my screen. Did you see it on my screen? Yeah. Okay, cool. But I, I just logged into a different system, which uh, has more sites, more than four, or five. it doesn't matter. Right now we just change it to fit everything inside that, that bar, that section. And if it doesn't, it actually overflows into the more sites button automatically. Um, there is no four or any count which is uh, fixed now. So I don't know how to recreate this. And uh, from explanation, it seems to be anything above four, but uh, I have a, uh, admin user and he has like let me say um, more than four six or something eight yeah eight hundred uh, so, so you're testing on a different system and you're not seeing the same the same behavior yeah so if you use this um, and then as an admin admin um, I don't see that 
huh. Oh, so that's why you're bringing up the Marist server. Yeah. And I'm sure it's updated uh, recently. I mean, it's not up to date as of today, but it's uh, most recently updated. Um, hmm. So is there some, should I log in as instructor or where will I see that behavior on the Marist uh, server? I can log in as an admin admin. It has like more than uh, four sites. And everything is visible. I don't see uh, the issue reported. Right. That's an interesting point. So let me go ahead and log out of here and log in the other side as admin admin. I don't think that should make a difference, but just so the test uh, is the same. Yeah, Sean is mentioning that the DHL property controls and more tabs, but I think uh, the recent change eliminated that completely, and we don't use that at all now. Um, so the DHTML is uh, is not being used anymore. That's a change uh, um, Chuck made in the backend, so that all the sites, whichever he has access to as an active site, will be displayed on the top bar. So let me log out and see if, by some weird reason, that admin admin. Uh, so it looks like I see how many. Sites are on here. Let's look at preferences and just see if there's a, one of these sites on here. So right now there's only four sites on here, so let me add one more. Let's see what happens. Let's do the other project for us. Try giving it a long name. Sorry? Uh, try giving it a huge name, I mean, like a bigger name. See if it helps. Oh, a bigger name, okay. Yeah. Oh, it, it doesn't let me. It cuts me off at the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a limit, yeah, yeah. At least for the, and look, the sub contact site now. Okay. Cool. All right. And then it doesn't matter what tools I choose for right now. And this doesn't matter either. And uh, uh, no, I'm still on the nightly, I'm still getting that issue. See that? Even admin admin doesn't matter which one I'm logged in with. So there's something different between the Marist environment and the. So you're saying oh. the Marist has been updated and you just need to push something in the trunk? Is that what you're thinking? Oh. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'll check it once again. I, I don't know what's. Uh, let me see. Try it. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, I'll verify. Uh, Probably I'll assign it to me and see if it's uh, some more. I put this one as a blocker level. If it's an issue, I put it at blocker level because we wouldn't want to, you know, people need to be able to see more sites, right? I mean, that's not really a major issue. That's critical at blocker level. We wouldn't want to release 11. I'm just not loving with that. Um, so we're actually making, you know, good progress. You okay to keep going on, or do you need the time to leave early and work on other stuff or work on the documentation? Or do you want to? Plow through a few more issues. Yeah, you can go through more issues. Okay. 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 Let's go through a few more issues then. This is this is cool. Um, so the next one is SAK two nine six four nine adjust positioning of password strength message on new account page. Um, PC SAK nine eight zero one. Minor adjustment to strength info message is misaligned by boxing in five years. Possibly related to Morpheus. So this one may, if that's related to SAK 29801, then and this one's result means this one is really a duplicate.
Um, I, I'll review it. I think the, it has some effect on the, the form inside the registration. So you want to either assign it to yourself, or should I put a comment on yep, it? I just I'll like, assign it, yeah. it's, okay, cool. Yeah, it's really helpful if you either assign it or put a comment on that way. Next time it's easier to go through and say, oh, we've already talked about that one. Makes things mm -hmm. quicker for later. The next one is SAK29449, Tool Categorization Support on Site Info Page Order. Um, oh, it looks like it's already signed to you. So you're familiar with this one already? Add category. Oh, this is um, yeah. I think this is actually a feature we plan to implement, and I don't think we actually uh, are doing it in this one now um, in the site order helper. Um, probably this. Uh, yeah, I don't think this will be doing it now. Make it into 11, you think? Yeah, I don't think we can do it by 11. Oh. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move this one to a feature request, and then yeah. we, and then we can put a comment on it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Let's move this to a feature request. So. Um, a little comment on here. Third Morpheus team meeting will not be in scope for uh, 11.0. Okay, cool. All right. I lost my filter. Let's see. What's the next issue you have? Now we have SAK29739. See it, what are your comments? It's beyond the left. Last issue. Okay. I'm not sure, but I, I think this may have uh, been resolved with the importing the Bootstrap CSS, um, but I have to verify if that's the case. Is there an easy way to ver Are you going to verify it, or is there an easy way for like a QA tester to verify it? I, I can verify it. Uh, I'll just uh, assign it to me. And... Next one I have here Morpheus is changing files in the source folders. SAK29507. If I build a library project, still awaiting review, opened by Matthew Bucket, um, I'll end up with changed files in my checkout. I have no idea. This is a pretty technical one, I think. Um, uh, 
Uh, I think this is also no longer uh, valid because we are not using images anymore. Um, after including the font awesome, I think this is not a problem because we are not using this images. So do you want to close it or should somebody verify and then and yeah, it's, it's not an issue? I think we can verify it once and then uh, close it at that. Yeah, awesome. I, I'll just yeah, I'll just assign it to me and then then I'll review it once and uh, it still has issue and I'll probably close it. Okay. Very awesome. Thank you. All right. Let's see. Under Morpheus, help is looking for CSS and library skin neo default for the CSS. So is this also an old one? is looking for CSS. Help has a hard coded link to CSS that is not there. See screenshot. It probably is still an issue because uh, we have touched and this is reported like few days back. So yeah. What's the impact of this? Would the uh, help then look different than the rest of um, Sakai? Would it kind of uh, impact the way the help look and feel was? I don't think it is back on anything, but it just reports that these two files are missing. Um, in the error logs, it's, it doesn't impact anything in the user, but uh, But if it's not being used, you should remove them properly. That's uh, okay. Okay. So what's the impact of the user? I'm sorry, I didn't, didn't catch that. Is there any impact the user the user of the help system? No, user does not have I mean, do not have impact as as far as I know of uh, until unless these things are being used inside the help, uh, which I don't believe. Um, Yeah, yeah. I think we have to wait. So, Wilma, how big of a deal is it if the help looks kind of plain without style sheets? That wouldn't be a oh, okay. level issue for a lot of them. Okay. Sorry, did you? I thought I heard my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're saying we're just actually talking about the help the help uh, system. Um, it's a uh, yeah. One of the issues is that it doesn't um, right now. I mean, I think it looks like Dr. Chuck is working on it anyway. It's in progress, but curious if it should be just a major. It's a major level issue. Is probably sufficient for the yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I don't think it's a blocker, but it is a a major issue. Major, yes. mm -hmm. If it is not applying anything to the help, probably it is major issue. Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on it, and it seems like Chuck has assigned it himself, so in progress. Yeah. So that's cool. Okay. Um, next one's SAK29796. Um, new site notification does not go away. Let's see. I reported this in August, so a few months ago, a couple or a month ago, I guess. I think um, I just did this one, right? I think I think this one got fixed, right? Maybe. Yeah. You, you, you just created. I think it's it's fine now. It looks like at least. Yeah, because I just created a couple. And I didn't see an issue like that. So I'll retest this, but it seems like it probably it's not an issue now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, single panel, single width tool pages are too narrow. That was reported a while ago. Yeah, I, I think this is probably resolved, and we thought of retesting this once to see if that still exists. Okay. So 
uh, yeah, it's been a while, so I guess I wouldn't be surprised if that one's fixed, and maybe we'll see it when it gets uh, merged. So, uh, let's see. Oh, I see, yeah, it even says we need to retest that, so maybe we can get Need better styles for disabled input elements. Previous images development, we had styles and tool CSS for disabled input elements. Yep. Uh, I'll assign this to me and uh, I'll do a call this. Thank you. Uh, the next one is SAK29255. File picker helper needs updating from Morpheus. And this is opened by Steve Swinsbury. It's been assigned. Uh, so Sean introduced it. This is still a month ago, though. It seems similar to SAK29337. This is between folders while selecting content from resources. I'm wondering, and uh, you know, I'm wondering just in terms of breaking up the work, I noticed that you know, you've been taking a lot of them, which I appreciate. Um, should we assign any? And I see Eduardo is on the call, so. Should we assign you these things that you're taking to Eduardo, or is there is that he needs um, to put his time in other yeah, areas? Some of them I think uh, already, he already has on him. Um, uh, but I, I, I'll talk to him and see if uh, he can. I think uh, he said he'll look into the video and uh, he'll go to some of them. Okay, cool. Um, so I think there's distance between folders when selecting content from resources. Um, I Now, these two are related. That's one of the questions that Sean was asking. It looks like he made it a related too. So, Yeah, I think the the JavaScript is not the right slide here. Supposed to be the bootstrap uh, the JavaScript has to be applied, so I think that's missing here. Cool. All right, well, I said I'd let you all go early, and we're already um, past the quarter till. So 
if you want, we can kind of just, I can mark the other 10 we haven't had a chance to review for next time. And um, I don't anticipate a lot coming in until we start doing heavy duty testing. So yep. um, how does that sound? We leave a couple minutes early and I'll mark the other 10 issues for, uh, for looking at the next thing. Let's see, Sean writes, do we have time to discuss a few points of feedback that I received from my colleagues? The answers don't have to take long. Um, can you do the way to suggest I create a jury ticket? That sounds like a great way if, uh, if um, Eduardo and uh, Ude don't mind to do a couple more minutes. Of course, that means I'm lying that we're not leaving or leaving early, but it sounds like a good issue for discussion. That's okay. Yep. I'm okay with that, yeah. Okay, cool. Someone took my mic and hasn't given it back to me in a long time. <laughs> okay. I think we have enough in the Aperio budget. We can get you a new mic if you really need it. No problem. Okay. I'm going to read them out loud because uh, so because the chat doesn't get recorded. So let's mm -hmm. see, Sean's comments. Um, and it is Sean, yep. Uh, let's see, I can create your tickets as necessary, okay. Go ahead and I'll just read out your comments so it gets on the recording. Why do we drop the logout text in the mobile view? We have lots of room up there. Should we keep a text or even put the logout button under the profile like Gmail, Office 365, and many other services do? That's issue number one. Next thing is the profile down arrow beside the logout button might be hard to hit on mobile. Remember, the animation is too slow for the more sites. Drop the animation like with the mobile left panel. Number four, the drawers close arrow looks hand drawn. Number five, uh, sorry to bring this up again. Why do sites need their line? There is lots of space between the silo, Sakai logo and the profile area. Plus, we have that snazzy JavaScript determining the length of the site title space. And that's all the issues for now. Smiley face. I, uh, okay. So the, uh, I would start with the, the third one. The third one uh, dropping the animation for the more sites. I completely agree, and I think you can create a ticket for that, um, and will definitely, and I definitely would do that just to say make sense because if the left doesn't have, why should right integration uh, should have that? Uh, yes, so um, it doesn't need to be animated, but it, the main reason I think they had animation uh, initially is because the left toolbar is small and the right navigation on the sites is big, and if it is popped up right away, it's maybe a little bit awkward uh, looking. So I think that's the reason behind the animation. Um, and yes, as Edward said, we can make it faster. I don't know if that's a thing we can do and see if that looks better than the existing functionality. Um, but yeah, you can make a ticket and see if uh, we can have a discussion about that. Uh, but regarding the other ones, like uh, taking out the logout text in the mobile view, um, making the sites into the second uh, row by itself, um, they are the design choices made by the made by 
uh, here in this discussion uh, long back uh, when we are doing the changes. Um, uh, I don't know if that's we can. I don't know if we can make it as an issue or I don't know. That's uh, that's how basically it's decided to actually go with the default theme. Um, but if you really think that you have a new design which actually uses a lot, lot of space, and that may be the right thing to submit for the. Um, I think Eduardo is working on one new design uh, based off their uh, UI. So you can also maybe suggest one design out of your uh, views, and probably uh, PMC has a different opinion after looking at your design, and maybe that may be becoming a default. But for now, I think it's decided uh, from what we discussed in the past meeting. So. That's what the yeah, I think from. you're right. That's my call as well. But don't forget, we also have the skin contest. So that would be, you know, might be a good thing to give an alternative design and, and go through that process. And that will, that has a couple of developers, um, you know, on it. And I'm sure whatever gets approved will end up, you know, going through the PMC as well. So, but yeah, I recollect the same thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think the number four is. Uh, it's just a, uh, it's a CSS. I, 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 uh, we can make use of an icon instead of that. Uh, there is no reason. Uh, probably you can uh, create an issue for the number four uh, to make more identical or make a use of a font awesome icon instead of the existing close button or close whatever it is right now. It used to be uh, it actually collapses to a hamburger icon. That's where it came from. The hamburger icon and the clothes are basically the same things um, with an animation behind it. Um, so that's where it looks a little bit different than the regular icons. Um, but yeah, just, I think creating a ticket for that probably makes sense. And that brings up a discussion of seeing what would be the best thing for that. So, I think I covered everything right. Um, yes. Yeah, I think. Cool. Um, yeah, it, um, profile, profile down at. Sorry, um, profile down at. And the log out. Yeah, I think we may need to distinguish a little bit to as having a separator to actually make uh, it more seems to be a clickable section. Um, probably, yeah, I think you had creates the yeah, data for that also. You can do that, and then we can, uh, yeah. So if, if we have a separate uh, kind of section uh, just to represent that it's a clickable uh, thing. Um, just to have a separator between the actual profile image or the profile name, uh, then the drop down that would be better. That makes sense. Yep. What about the logout idea? You know, what do you think we talk about that? What do you think about that? Um, yeah, I think that's also a similar decision made because uh, uh, I'm not quite. I don't quite remember what reason behind it, but it's, uh, I just want to remove the space on the, the top, I'm just gonna remove the text. Um, so what happens is if there is a profile name with, uh, without an image uh, or a profile, or a, sorry, if there is a user without a profile, like, like an, an SSG site administrator, um, if you go to site administrator, he doesn't have a profile uh, tool deployed in. So what shows up there is just text without image. In that case, that whole top bar is utilized uh, by the name itself and having a logout text beside the logout icon um, uses a little bit of, consumes a little bit of space. Um, so that's the reason, again, it's again a design choice made uh, in the previous discussions here to eliminate the text in the mobile view on the top as much as we can.
Okay. Well, thank you, for, Sean, for bringing up uh, all those issues, and thank you, Ude, for um, you know your comments and um, on all the tickets and all those issues. Really appreciate it. So it looks like we're at the end of the time, and uh, uh, again, thank you, everybody. Uh, that was a very productive meeting, and um, I will uh, publish the recording. I'll make sure. I'm sure Dr. Chuck will be especially interested in maybe some of the comments at the end. Uh, so I'll mention that to him. Oh, yep. Thank you. Thank you, Dean. So I'm going to stop the recording. And, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Yep.